Hey guys, so today's video is my lipstick collection. You guys requested this video when I did my makeup collection video. So I've gone more in depth to show you around my lipstick and I hope you enjoy it. So let's start with these lipsticks on my desk. So the actual organizers here are from eBay. You literally just type in acrylic lipstick holder and it'll come up and they're literally like a pound or two. So this is my gold lipstick collection. I've got a load of the Clarins Jolly Rouge lipsticks at the front. This is the shade T Rose and this is what it looks like. It's just a really subtle kind of pink shimmer. Another of my favourites is this one which is in the shade Soft Berry. It is slightly darker. I absolutely love this one. It's like the perfect everyday shade. These lipsticks smell amazing and of course the packaging is so pretty. Another pretty one which is a kind of rose gold coppery colour is this one by Charlotte Tilbury. This is in the shade Bitch Perfect and it is so gorgeous. Can you kind of see a theme already with my lipsticks emerging? <laughs> <laughs> so this is what it looks like on slightly more matte. Then we have some more ones from Clarins in square tubes, um, some Max Factor Lipfinity colours, and then one of my favourite package lipsticks, the YSL lipstick. They are just so, so pretty. So this is the Rouge for Love lipstick, and it doesn't actually say what shade it is, but it's a kind of light pink colour. I thought it was going to come out darker when I got it but it's quite pretty. It's really nice and creamy. I just really like these lipsticks because of what they look like. Okay so moving on we have some Glow and Ray lipsticks along the front here. So let's swatch a couple of these. This one is in the shade Seduce and it is red, not nude. The Glow and Ray lipsticks are such good value for what they are. Just look at all that pigment. I've kind of stayed away from red lipsticks recently but I definitely Definitely, I'm gonna give this one a try. Then we've got a couple of 17 Stay Pout lipsticks. One of my favorite matte lipsticks, this is from NYX. This is in the shade T Rose. It is just so gorgeous when it is on. I should have done these swatches smaller. Look at the pigment on that, oh my god, like you don't even have to press hard. Oh my god, I love this shade so much. Then at the back here, NARS, which is actually really pretty, I'll show you this one. So this is a kind of peachy nude colour, but it's really beautiful. It is one of their matte colours. So nice. I think I'm going to have to wipe my hand off now. <laughs> then we come to a couple of Illamasqua ones. So let's pick one to swatch for you guys because I am so in love with the Lamasca as a brand. So this is a nude of course and it is in the shade Bear. Let's try and do the swatches a bit smaller. It's so hard to do small swatches. It's just a lovely matte pink colour. There we go, that's a bit more of a swatch. So along the front here I like to keep the shape kind of the same. So these two ones are from The Balm. Really similar shape to MAC but they are silver. This one is another nude colour in the shade My Bills Be Paid. <laughs> then we have some Lime Crime ones which just sit there looking pretty. I went a bit off Lime Crime when they had that huge huge scandal a couple of years ago. Then we have one of my favourite lipsticks ever. This is a limited edition from MAC. It is in this gorgeous dark shade and the consistency of it is just so, so nice. Oh, it's so pretty. The shade is called Dark Side and this lipstick really actually got me into wearing dark lipsticks because I didn't really used to. Then we have a load of Colour Studio lipsticks which is another brand like Glow and Ray which is kind of not really appreciated for what it is. Again, the lipsticks are super affordable but they're so pigmented and they have so many nice shades. So let's just pick a couple of random ones to swatch. The packaging of these is so, so beautiful. I absolutely love the gold. So this one is in the shade Fury. Because they're curved to apply to the lips, it's a bit hard to apply to the hand, which is why I'm struggling a bit. <laughs> oh, nice swatch, Manny. It is such a beautiful consistency. This is from their Pure Matte collection. What have we got here? We have Asia. So this is a beautiful nude colour. It literally matches my nails so, so well. Again, I apologise. Oh my god, for my swatching. 
That is terrible. Okay, well, I tried. This is Asia. It is a beautiful pinky nude colour. Again, it is matte. Just look at that pigment. So then we move on to the final one down here, and it contains MAC lipsticks, MUA lipsticks, and a couple of Kate Moss Rimmel lipsticks. So with MAC lipsticks, it's very, very hard to pick my favourites. Let's go for something different other than nude. I think... Yeah, I'll go for this one, which is Captive. So Captive is a beautiful kind of purpley berry colour. It's in the satin finish, so it's like kind of matte with a tiny little bit of shimmer. I just absolutely love it. It is just so, so pretty. This one is called Flat Out Fabulous, and I absolutely love it because it's a really nice bright pink colour. Very, very blue toned. It's just a really kind of funky shade. Really nice and bright and a bit different to all your MAC nudes. So yeah, anyway, in here, of course, I've got Velvet Teddy, Honey Love, Love Lawn, Vegas Vault, and loads of other favourites. And then we have the MUA lipsticks. Let's swatch one of them. This one is the shade 15, Juicy. So this is a really pretty light coloured lipstick. If you don't already own an MUA lipstick, get down to your local super jug and pay, what is it, a pound for one of these because they are seriously good for the money. I'm always so blown away at how pigmented they are and how creamy they are. Just look at that shade amongst the other ones, like it could literally pass as a matte lipstick. Then at the back here we have two Kate Moss lipsticks and one of them is one of my favourite lipsticks ever, the shade 3 and yep, yeah, you've guessed it, it is a nude colour but it is such a beautiful nude, like just the consistency, it is literally like the perfect everyday lipstick and of course Rimmel lipsticks literally aren't much. Okay so now we move on top of one of my sets of Muji drawers, here we have a couple of Clarins lip oils which are absolutely amazing, a lipstick base from Clarins and then this Kiko one, oh my god, it's from their beautiful rose gold collection. Then we have some of the LA Girl matte lipsticks which are actually so so good. I was really impressed when I tried them out, especially with this one, which is a nude colour. I love that they actually show what colour they are on the bottom, like the MUA lipsticks. Then, moving along, we have some lip balms from Sleek, and these are really cute because they all have sweets names, and they are all coloured. I'll swatch this one anyway, which is in the shade Jelly Bean, just so you can see you know, what they kind of are like. They just give a little tiny hint of colour. Really cute, really nice and hydrating. Then along here we have the Ciate Liquid Lipsticks, which are so nice. I love these shades so much, especially this one. Then at the very back we have the LA Girl Matte Lipsticks. This one is one of my favourites. Let's swatch it. It is in the shade Dreamy. It's just a really nice kind of summer liquid lipstick. Um, and it hasn't dried yet, but it does dry matte. It's just a really nice kind of corally nude. And then these are the other three shades. Then on the end we have a couple of sleek matte me liquid lipsticks. These are some of my absolute faves. They're the shades Bittersweet and Petal. So this is the next section in my square. If you've seen my makeup collection video, then you will have seen like what this area looks like. But yeah, I've just got a few kind of random um, mixtures here. Some lip glosses and some tiny little sleek lipsticks. This I really really love from Bourjois. It's the Rouge Edition Velvet. These were I don't know if they were the first liquid lipsticks, but they were certainly what introduced me into liquid lipsticks. Um, so let's just do a little swatch. So it is super, super pigmented. And this one is in the shade 5, Old Flamingo. This Shiseido one is really pretty as well. It's a nice lip gloss. A NYX lip gloss, which is amazing. Um, and a Illamasqua lip gloss. A Tanya Burr one. And then this Kiko one, which is part of that collection. Um, it matches the lipstick I showed you earlier because it's got this on the end. Oh, love it. And then we just have a few sleek lip glosses. This one's got some glitter. Behind here I do have tubs of um, liquid lipstick and then this one is pencils but I'm not going to take you through them because it would take me an absolute age. Then we have another one on top of some Muji drawers. So let's just go through these first and then I'll do a couple of swatches. So in here we have some Kiko lipsticks, some Essence Cosmetics lipsticks, a SO 
Estee Lauder one, an Estee Edit one. Then back here we have some Rimmel ones, another Rimmel one, Max Factor, Sleek and Simply Spoiled. So out of these ones, I really, really love this one from Essence. It's a really nice kind of, how do I describe it? Like almost a browny, purpley nude. You could almost describe it as lilac, but on the lips it comes out as kind of just like a beigey brown colour with a hint of purple. Then another one of my favourite shades, this is from Maybelline and it's the shade Power Peony. Now I don't actually wear this very often, I just sit and kind of admire it just because it is such a beautiful colour. I'm literally going to have to go onto my thumb to swatch this. <laughs> this could be interesting. I think I'm actually going to wear this at the next festival I go to, it's so pretty! Okay so now we move into my overflow drawers. This drawer and all the pots are from Ikea. I'm holding the camera again so I can't swatch them as I go along but I shall talk through them. So these are some of my favourite lipsticks ever. They are from Rodeal and they are the creamiest, most pigmented lipsticks ever. This one is a red lipstick that I had when I was about 16 and it is like the perfect shade and I've just kept it because I don't know if L'Oreal still do it. This drawer is full of models own lipsticks. This little mirrored one, it is in the shade Plush Peony. Then underneath we have some of their nudes from their Dare to Bear collection which has just launched. Then we have some Too Faced lipsticks which I have been in love with. I hadn't really tried anything other than their liquid lipsticks but these are so so good and underneath what's we have just some random lipsticks from Sleek and much not. And then the final little tub we have some lipsticks from Makeup Forever which are in really cool tubes. Let's see if we can show you one. This is just a really beautiful nude. And then underneath we have some from Ciate which is so pretty. I love this packaging so much. Okay so I've just swatched some for you guys to see. First up we have the Makeup Forever and it doesn't actually have a shade name it just says C104. Then we have the new Model Zone lipstick in Kiss. Then one of my absolute favourites. Oh my god. Look at it shimmer. This is the Unicorn Tears from Too Faced. It is, oh my god, it's so beautiful. And then finally, Spice Spice Baby from Too Faced. So I really hope you like this video. Don't forget to give it a big thumbs up if you did. Let me know what you thought in the comments below. And I will see you all very soon. Bye!